And of course, with Wales today on the main stage, youth is such a vital part of that. Ampadu, Tyler Roberts, Woodburn are all involved in the Victory Shield a few years ago, now playing full internationals for big clubs as well. Do you feel like the Welsh way of coaching is so vital to Wales' this youth success? How important is it to develop these kinds of players that are currently in the under-15s for future success potentially in football? Yeah, well, from what I remember from my experience, that one year I was in the Victory Shield, I played um, two years, so one year ahead of myself, then I played the Victory Shield. Within two, two years, I was in the first team at Leeds United. And this is the reminder to the players all the time that we, they can be naive about things like that is that if they want to be the best, then they could be making their debuts at 16, at 17, at 18 for their, for their, for their clubs, hopefully Premier League clubs. And that's the level that we're getting to now, is that I think the coaching system within uh, the Welsh makeup has improved over the last 10 to 15 years. And I know that was the objective and the challenge for FAW and FAW Trust. Um, but you can see that the grassroots level now has improved. The quality of player going into academies has improved. And this is where we're seeing the rewards now of, of the players like you've mentioned. So for us, it's no different. We have to challenge them even more so and set those targets even closer for them. Um, because the, the more they, they, they're naive about that, the longer it's going to take them to become a professional. And being an ex-pro, you've played at that top level, Leicester Leeds, for example. Who is the best coach you've played under in your time as a professional footballer? Um, yeah, thanks for preparing me for this one. <laughs> I, I I've always said I've been lucky enough to play, and, and I didn't I didn't have a I suppose um, uh, a lucrative career where I've played five six hundred games where I I've, I've got huge comparison, but I did play under a number of good quality coaches. So Howard Wilkinson was a, a tactical technician. No, absolutely superb with his information. Sometimes an overload of information, so the things you learn about that. But I think without being prepared tactically, you know, you you can fall down as an individual and collectively as a team. Uh, George Graham was superb at Leeds in terms of his uh, Im implement of discipline and professionalism. You know, it was quite regimented with him, and I, I took so much from from him uh, when I when I trained under him. And then David O'Leary was who was the I suppose the influence in my career in terms of allowing us youth players to to play with freedom and to express ourselves and it's those type of managers that you remember because that's the most enjoyable time so if I if I really had to put my 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 hat on the line it would be Mark Hughes because my experience representing Wales albeit a, an honourable one and you know proud to come on camp proud to train every day to be at reception at the Vale, vale Glamorgan Hotel you just Everything I took part in representing my country, I absolutely adored. Um, so Mark, Mark Hughes was one of those who sort of gave me, um, I suppose, the confidence, the confidence to play at the, the highest level, even though I'd achieved a lot at, at Leeds in terms of Premier League football, Champions League football, UEFA Cup football, etc. But playing for your country and playing against the likes of Rivaldo, against Brazil and Figo, against Portugal, he not only instilled the confidence but the self-belief that I can go and do it and, and he gave me the man-marking role to, to mark both those players in those games. Uh, and I always look back at those games and, and think it's the highlight of my career really. So And, and he was the coach that, that done that for me. You know, Without him making the selection or having faith in me as a young player, then I wouldn't have had that opportunity to represent my country. So I know it's a long answer, but there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and have those, any of those names influenced your styles as a coach? Any of them had an effect on you? I, th I think like my inspiration when I was becoming a player, um, Paul Gascoigne, Roy Keane and David Batty were my were my idols, but I was clever enough, even as a young age, to realise that I I couldn't just be a Roy Keane. I had to combine that with other things. So the qualities of David Batty and Paul Gascoigne. That's how I how I looked at my career in terms of can I take from certain players that I absolutely adored and become uh, quite unique myself. And I'm trying to, to be that as a coach as well. So, you know, I mentioned Howard Wilkes and George Graham and what they offered me. The qualities, I suppose, the psychological qualities of David O'Leary. Uh, I worked under Peter Taylor, who was a wonderful coach at Leicester City, and Mickey Adams. And, and, and they offer you so, so much more as well. And, and this is why I feel as, as a coach, I like to take snippets. You know, and I'm having a great opportunity here now with the, with the Welsh Trust in terms of working on a daily basis with the likes of Richie Williams who's very experienced in what he does and and learning so much from from Craig Knight so as well and 
what I've learned is that you delve in a lot of information.